Tornadoes are the most violent of weather systems and are capable of producing some of the strongest winds. Last year alone, tornadoes were responsible for 55 fatalities and $2.4 billion in damage. But what exactly are tornadoes? How do they form? And what can you do to protect yourself if you're ever threatened by one? A tornado is a violently rotating column of air that is attached to a thunderstorm and in contact with the ground. Since a tornado is composed of air, it is by itself invisible. It's only when water, dust, and dirt are drawn into the vortex that a tornado can be seen. The central United States is one of only a few places in the world where weather conditions are ideal for tornado development. The formation of tornadoes is fairly complex, but typically consists of a combination of instability, such as when warm, moist air interacts with dry or cooler air, and wind shear, in which wind increases in speed and changes direction with height. The intensity of a tornado is measured on a six-tier rating system called the Enhanced Vegeta Scale. This scale classifies tornadoes based on the damage they produce. On the low end of the scale are tornadoes rated EF0 and EF1. Tornadoes with these ratings are the most commonly occurring and have the capacity to break windows, overturn mobile homes, and break large branches off of trees. Moving up the scale, EF2 and EF3 tornadoes are considered strong tornadoes, and they are capable of causing significant damage to well-constructed buildings, as well as tearing the bark off trees. Finally, at the top of the scale are EF4 and EF5 tornadoes. These are the most violent of all tornadoes, and while only about 1% of all tornadoes reach this strength, they are responsible for about 70% of tornado-related deaths. During the spring, there is a general northward progression of tornado occurrences. In the late winter and early spring, the maximum tornado frequency on average is centered along the central Gulf states. In April, May, and June, the maximum frequency begins to shift north into the southern plains and then into the northern plains and Great Lakes regions by early to mid-summer. Although spring is most commonly associated with tornadoes, a secondary peak in tornado activity occurs during the fall as cold fronts begin to swing further south through the continental United States. An average of 60 people are killed by tornadoes each year, and many more are injured. So how can you avoid becoming a victim? Take action whenever a tornado warning is issued. Seek shelter in a small windowless interior room of a sturdy building. This includes interior bathrooms, closets, and hallways. If you are in a mobile home when a tornado warning is issued, abandon it and seek shelter in a more substantial building. Even with wind straps, tornadoes can easily topple and destroy mobile homes, killing anyone inside. Tornadoes are one of nature's most unpredictable phenomena. But by knowing what to do when one threatens, you will be better prepared to protect your own life and the lives of your loved ones. You can learn more about severe weather at www.weather.gov and www.ready.gov slash severe weather or the Spanish language website www.listo.gov. You can also follow the National Weather Service on Facebook and Twitter at the addresses listed here.